What's up everybody? Welcome back to Watch with Marcel where today we are looking at another trailer coming out of San Diego Comic-Con at home for 2021. This time we're looking at the official trailer for season six of Legends of Tomorrow. Legends of Tomorrow is one of the guiltiest of guilty pleasures that exists today. This show is bananas. It has jumped the shark, ridden the shark, sliced that shark open, eaten it, become the shark, and now it's riding another shark. It just like, so many. So if you go back and you watch season one with Rip and Vandal Savage, this show took itself so seriously in the first season. And now by season six, there are no fucks given. They don't care anymore. They just don't care. It's gotten so wacky. I still watch it. <laughs> I'm not saying I don't watch it and I'm not saying it's not good. What I'm saying is it has surpassed jumping the shark, surpassed schlock into a whole new territory. I don't even know what to call it now. Things I love about this show, Cats and Sarah Lance. I love Sarah. I loved her on Arrow. And then they gave her own show. And she is amazing. I love Ava. I liked her on Mistresses on ABC back in the day. That actress is phenomenal. She's just, I really enjoy her. Gary the alien. Who doesn't love Gary? <laughs> but what I really love is Matt Ryan as Constantine. Matt Ryan had his own Constantine show on NBC back in the day and no one gave it the time of day and it was canceled. So when it came time to bring Constantine into the fold on Legends of Tomorrow, they did the most awesome thing you can do and they brought Matt Ryan and Matt Constantine to Legends of Tomorrow. Now they kind of made it a bit schlockier and he is probably the most serious character on the show at the moment. But I just read that they are putting that character to bed, but that does not mean that Matt Ryan's going anywhere. He's going to play a new series regular next year. He's going to be playing a doctor that will have some kind of impact on the legend's lives. But who knows? We got people living in totems, dating people in totems, brothers that came out of nowhere. This show, I we got Bebo. Just look up, just Google Bebo. You'll be better for it. I promise. But let's just get into the trailer for season six of Legends of Tomorrow. Oh, they're getting married. Today, here, in front of all of our friends. Gary. I want to make these vows to you. Go captains forever, baby. Aww. I love you so, so much, Sarah Lance. So if there's no objections... <laughs> I'm back! Ah! Hello, legends. Did you miss me? <laughs> you I kind of did, actually. Wedding crashers. Uh oh. It's gonna be you and me for all eternity, Sarah Lance. Yeah. You wish. So we've been abducted by aliens. Again. Again. Thank you, everyone here, for making my day about a floating bowling alley. The only way for us to leave is for us to beat this team of alien bowlers. Nice and smooth. Okay. <laughs> we need an activity. Something to bring us together. Last thing we need to be doing is tripping on mushrooms. I'm sorry, what is happening? What happened to my couch? <laughs> all right, so everybody wants to go on an adventure, all right? Well, let's go on a real adventure, shall we? Do not make a board game real. Oh, crap. Game on. The longer the game goes on, the more realistic it becomes. We could be trapped in here forever. You're not in control of the magic, John. It's in control of you. Oh, John. John has tapped into some very volatile, very dark magic. If he doesn't stop using it, it will kill him. I told you to stay out of my way. You need to run now. Shit. I want you to feel the anger, the isolation Aww. of losing everything you ever loved. Ah! 
Okay. I'm in. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, damn it. Damn you, DC. Damn you, CW. That actually looks great. Uh... I think I'm a few episodes behind. There was one or two little spoilery things in there uh, that I did not know. <laughs> I did not know that Mix Alien, he finds her, apparently, because she's at the wedding. And that Alien dude is back. I thought he was dead. I thought he, they'd blowed up his consciousness in the, the ship. That's fantastic. I'm super excited about that. I'm telling you, this show just keeps reinventing itself and reinventing itself. It looks like we're going a little darker with John, with Constantine this in this season. So bring it. I'm ready. I like it. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Are you ready for a darker John Constantine and to say goodbye to John Constantine? Let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe. And for the tiny sleeping dog, we will see you next time. Take care, everybody. Bye.